T. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, how do you like that eye candy? Guess where the place to be is today? Hey, you guessed it. <laughs> I am here at the Gold Depot uh, with Rich and a special guest today, and his name is Uncle Bob. So, uh, Rich, uh, thanks for coming back on. My and pleasure. Uh, we are going to uh, ask a, a couple of questions, and then uh, I've got quite a few questions uh, for Uncle Bob, and uh, we'll uh, just kind of start here with this question, Rich. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about all those Libertads I was drooling on uh, on top of your display case there? They are pretty, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I know you Libertad fans out there, I ended up buying a big collection um, they are available uh, while supplies last. Um, probably got Depending a couple, on how many I pick up while I'm in the shop here. <laughs> probably got a couple hundred in stock at the moment, so uh, if anybody's interested, you know how to reach us. Uh -huh. And uh, thanks, Rich. And uh, so, uh, Bob, yes. uh, welcome to T the Silver Stackers uh, program here uh, on the show. I appreciate you joining uh, with Rich. Uh, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself, who you are, and uh, what you're doing here. Alrighty. Uh, well, thanks for having me here. Uh, I enjoy doing this. And um, I'm here because I'm a silver stacker. Um, and how long have you been a silver stacker, Bob? Uh, roughly, I started about five years ago. Uh, Rich kind of got me into this. I was kind of following his lead. And uh, uh, I really like where it's gone. I like the idea of the investment uh, simply because... Uh, the American dollar is constantly losing money, but silver is gaining money. So it's it's a really solid investment, and I'm looking at that towards uh, uh, my retirement. So uh, prior to five years ago, uh, you weren't heavily involved, and then boom, like a whole world opened up to you. That's correct. Uh, I started lightly for about a year, and when I really started seeing the potential there, then it just uh, escalated from that point. And... Uh, you told me earlier that you feel so strongly about it and such a commitment that you went in with Rich on the other store. Is that true? Or tell me, tell me how that happened, how it transpired. <laughs> that, that is correct. Um, it, it became so solid for me and I got so really involved in, in wanting to collect and wanting to have it. And uh, Rich was talking about another store. He gave me the opportunity to, to partner in with him on that. And uh, um, here we are. Very good. Very good. Let me ask you this, uh, Bob. Uh, silver or gold or other precious metals, uh, what, what is your stack uh, comprised mainly of and what are you working on? Well, my stack uh, mainly comprises of silver bullion, um, uh, a lot of generic silver. I've got some buffaloes, I've got some uh, silver eagles, mm -hmm. uh, some bars, uh, some vintage silver. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, 90% of what I have is silver. I do have a little bit of gold, but I, I deal more with the silver. I like the silver better. Yeah, uh, I do too. And uh, Rich and I have talked about this before. Uh, to me, the potential for silver is just so great. Uh, yeah, and gold, certainly I could see in the next decade or two decades, it continuing to do what it's done and go up. But with that, that silver, uh, the silver just has that potential for that pop you know yeah the best best upshot is definitely silver you know i'll say it in rick's words silver is coming out of gold shadows yeah it's it's got more potential it's got more room to move and um people are dealing with it more okay numismatic do you collect any uh, morgans or uh you know some peace dollars or any of the other uh, numismatic stuff i i have a few not very many um i'm, I'm more into the bullion Hey, Bob, you mentioned uh, that you got into this kind of late in the game and you're eyeballing retirement at some point in time. Right. So obviously silver is a big part of your plan. Uh, you're not retired yet. Obviously, you're involved with the store. But at, at what kind of clip are you adding silver to your uh, stack and your portfolio uh, as you go along? Well, you know, I, I think that everybody really needs to be diversified and you still got to have your 401ks or your pensions or whatever it is, but it, it's a very good backup. I feel that uh, 
I need somewhere around 3,500 ounces uh, to retire with. Mm -hmm. And basically I've been buying around 20 ounces a week. 20 ounces a week. So that's a pretty steady clip. You know, 80 ounces a month, uh, that adds up. Now that'll vary from people to, you know, lifestyles or, you right. know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but for him, for, for what he's invested through 401ks and work and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and his goal at the, you know, coming retirement, which I think you're what, two years away? Yeah. So two years from retirement, uh, you know, his goal is to have 3,500 ounces, mm -hmm. where somebody else's goal might be a thousand ounces or whatever. So, sure. I mean, it just depends on that person. Well, it's certainly good to have a nephew like Rich helping you along the <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, this would probably be a good opportunity to tell the audience that at T the Silver Stacker, Rich from the Gold Depot, and Uncle Bob, none of us are financial advisors. And this, we're That's just correct. explaining right. what we do and why. And if some people glean uh, some information off that that might be helpful to them, awesome. And so take it for what it's worth. Uh, three guys sitting here talking that believe in silver. Uh, so let's talk a little bit, uh, Bob, about the end game, uh, cashing out. Uh, just curious, uh, do you plan on cashing out all at one time and say, hey, I'm put, putting all my chips in the middle of the table and I'm done? <laughs> and, or, uh, and or do you plan on just kind of taking that stack, building it, and then at a certain point in time, uh, milking it for all it's worth and just cashing out little by little. Well, here's my idea. I mean... My other investments are going to support my day-to-day -day needs, and the silver I'll take as I need for vacations, travel, or anything that might want to pop up or something like that uh, to make my life more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, it'll pay some bills too, as as we speak. But uh, that's primarily not what it's for. It's it's for the entertainment of my retirement. Uh, it certainly is. Uh, you know, what if it went to five hundred dollars an ounce. <laughs> I'm going to be very well entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, it is a, a fabulous uh, way to save for retirement, in my humble opinion. And uh, you know, after seeing those Libertads, I mean, what's not to like? I yeah. mean, you're saving, you're basically buying real money with your paper money uh, that you can, uh, you know, in your case, in my case, all of us look at and admire, and uh, you know peek at and it's physical it's real it's right there for you to look at and it's sure like those lever tots i can't take my eyes off of them uh and i'm going to be digging into that in just a little while <laughs> uh but um uh, hey bob thanks for sharing any other uh tips or advice now you from a guy who's been in it just you know five years or so things that you've learned along the way i mean uh, like for, as for example these youtube videos you were complimenting me a little bit earlier and i'll mm -hmm. tell you uh, I took some bumps along the way. My first videos were not very good. They were pretty bad, actually. And I learned a lot along the way. Not that I'm any good now, but I did learn a lot along the way. In your five years, tell, can you th anything's come to mind that where you learned along the way, where you made a mistake or a misstep here or there? Yeah, you know, I have had a couple of missteps. Like I, I bought some uh, silver that really wasn't silver. Oh. Uh, but it, uh, fortunately, I didn't invest a lot in it. It was just a few ounces, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I didn't know any better. So yeah. I've, I've learned now, you know, Early how to on, test on. silver yeah. and uh, what to look for and watch for, and you know, in, in vintage silver versus. Uh, uh, new silver uh, rounds versus bars. I guess it's just kind of uh, what you like. Um, it's all silver. Where'd you buy that fake silver? I actually bought it online. Oh boy. <laughs> I bought it through eBay. Aye. Yeah, okay. that was a big mistake. <laughs> yeah. I've had mostly decent experiences on eBay, uh, except for one. I bought a Libertad on eBay that I'm still sore about yeah. because it never showed up. It was a 2020. Uh, and, uh, you know, lesson learned. Um, and uh, just today I was on there looking, I, I'm a baseball fan, and I saw advertised a uh, pure silver Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, silver medallion, and uh, as I took a very close look on it, I never saw .99 or fine silver or anything, any markings that would, in, would indicate that it really was, you know, silver. Uh, so I passed on that one, but I, I kind of wonder... A lot of those are going to be marked on the rim, though. Are they? Yeah. Okay. 
the price was real low though, Rich, and that was like a big red yeah. flag yeah, for yeah, me. If it's, guy, yeah. if it's too good to be one true, one ounce it pure is. silver for twenty four dollars. Yeah. Uh, and it's too good to be true. It yeah, true. and something yeah. that cool and old and vintage from the eighties. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, I um, I was tempted, uh, but I passed. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of the other things I didn't mention is I, I've lately been getting into the hand pour stuff. I really think it's kind of cool. It's just different, you know, uh, unique. Yeah. It's, so uh, I kind of like that. Uh, I, the guys I've watched online have taken it uh, just to uh, great levels. Yeah. And uh, really, the art that's involved with that and the skill, you know, to yeah. pour that um, molten silver into the molds and then do what's necessary to, 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 to make it look right. It's artwork. That, yeah, artwork. It, yeah. it takes a ton of skill. It goes back to my my old saying is, you know, even though you're stacking for certain reasons, whether it be in, uh, stacking for your retirement, stacking for to hedge your other investments, you always stack what you what you like too. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always adding that that stuff that you like, and in his case, it might be hand pours or or you know stuff like that. Uh, so you're here hanging out with the nephew, yeah. and uh, you're gracious enough to come on my video. Tell me, before we uh, close up, a little bit about the Griffith store. Uh, how long have you guys been open? Well, we opened it in February. So February 1 was our grand opening. Um, got off to a little bit of a slow start, but I think now we're getting some inventory, and uh, we're building up a customer base, and um, we're getting more traffic. Uh, we've probably tripled the traffic. Uh, along the way up to this far and uh, so far this month we've really been doing good comparative to the last few months. You're going in the right direction. Going in the right direction. Where's it located? It is located off of 45th Street. Mm -hmm. um, Griffith, uh, 45th and Forest Drive yeah. in okay. uh, Griffith. All right, well I'll throw the address up on the uh, the old screen so people can check you out Awesome. and uh, stop in there. If they can't make it all the way down here to Crown Point, they could find you up north in Griffith. And yep. Uh, you know, do some shopping over there. What kind of demographics do you have walking in the door? Is it uh, older folks? Is it younger folks? A uh, whole mix? It's a, it's a pretty good mix um, of everybody. I mean, we see just as much young people as we do older folks and uh, uh, women as well as men. I mean, we get a good mix of just about everything. I gotta ask you, uh, on May 1st, did you see people, you know, coming in the door left and right for that, uh, the so-called silver squeeze, or was it just like a normal Saturday for you? Um, no, it was a little busier. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it a pop by any means, but I would say, yeah, we did see uh, uh, probably five or six more customers than we would normally. What's normal in a day over there? Uh, four, five, okay. maybe. So you have a s slow crowd right now. Right. Uh, but it's consistent to where in the beginning uh, it wasn't consistent. We'd maybe see four or five a week for the first month that we were there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can depend on that just about every day now. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, uh, I uh, passed by the shop and I know where you're at. Uh -huh. I'm kind of tucked back in the corner. So yeah. hopefully this video will help get the word out and have people uh, come visit you. That would be fantastic. So, hey, before we uh, close up, uh, Rich or Bob, any uh, final thoughts, any topics that are, are, are big right now? Uh, no, I, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to cover this uh, just because, I mean, we get an abundance of phone calls uh, with, with people asking a lot of questions. Um, a lot of people just retired or coming up on retirement mm -hmm. that either have not been buying gold and silver, they're looking to buy gold and silver now. Mm -hmm. um, because of what the dollar is doing and what's going on with the economy and everything else, mm -hmm. um, so I, I I asked T to you know if he would be kind to to throw this up because uh, I think it's a something important to talk about and buy your precious metals now because I think that it's really going to go, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take off and you know. When I listen to financial programs and even just regular news programs here and there and. There's something in the air. There's a vibe throughout the country. People are worried about inflation. They're worried about yeah. the money printing. We've seen more and more lately uh, with uh, yeah, whether it's child tax credits or a new stimulus that's being proposed. Uh, just the, the money machine just keeps churning out money. Uh, so people, uh, I, I would imagine, you know, in your age demographic, Bob, uh, you know, don't want to see everything they've earned right, uh, go right. up in smoke. 
Exactly. And, and, and but to your point, you know, again, we're not financial advisors, and I want to make this very clear. I wouldn't encourage people to cash out their 401ks no. to buy silver or gold or uh, anything like that. But um, just buy it to back it up. Mm -hmm. Right. It needs to be a part of your portfolio. Is yeah. what it is. Yeah. It really. It's it's strong enough today where the news is out there, the word is around, and people need to react and people need to invest in it to secure their futures. Yeah, and like I, we said earlier, none of us are financial advisors, but I will go as far as to say this. Uh, you know, I've talked to enough financial advisors in my day to know that none of them would steer you away from uh, gold or uh, more more recently silver. People are seeing the potential there. And, uh, you know, they'll vary on the percentage that they tell you that your portfolio should be comprised of. Um, you know, a lot of them will take 5 to 10% is like the standard. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm sure both of you guys have seen there are some people that walk into your shops that have never bought one single ounce right. of silver or gold in their lives. Speaking of financial advisor, right? Honest to God truth, mm -hmm. we have a financial advisor that works at a big bank. Mm -hmm. He's here every day. Wow. Isn't that guy in that suit? Yes. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> he is yeah. here he comes every to our store as well. day. Really? And yeah. he buys silver every day. I saw yeah. him when I was shooting the video and he is for Matt. A financial advisor uh -huh. investments yeah. for a big bank. Okay. Good to know. So, All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to do some shopping here, and uh, you guys are kind enough to stay after hours. Uh, by the way, Rich, I am going to show some of the B-roll footage of the inventory you have today. I don't know if I've ever seen it this good. I mean, you've got we are also. Uh, I will start. We will resume doing our live Facebook auctions oh, yeah. starting this Friday um, so at 7 p.m. Um, our Facebook. Um, Live auction group. It's uh, the Gold Depot live auctions. Okay. Um, you have to be a member, um, and we'll go live fr this Friday at seven o'clock. All right. Well, you send me a link, and I'll put that link in the description. Sounds so good. So people can simply click right on it, Excellent. and boom, get Very in there. Good. And uh, you know, my commission won't be too heavy, Rich. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just. I'll we'll give you, you free shipping. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come down the block. You'll pay for my gas from my house to here. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, we're going to end on that. Uh, to my viewers, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, watching today. And uh, best wishes on uh, building your stack. We'll leave it at that, guys. All right, everybody. Thank you. T okay, guys. Hey, you know, every time I come into Rich's shop, I find something that I like. And uh, today was no exception. You saw all those lever tods. And uh, boom, one, two, three. That's what I am walking out the door with. Hey, once again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, that little circle on the left there. And if you want to see more of my interviews with Rich, Bob, Matt, and the gang here at the Gold Depot, be sure to click on that playlist to the right.